And the rest of the Ungulungu group returns. There should be 14 animals returning to greet the two babysitters and of course all the babies. A most incredible aspect of meerkat behavior is that the babysitters go without food for the entire day while caring for the young. And there's a huge amount of social affirmations going on, scent marking. Lovely to see. And here comes Jabulani, the mother. Everyone's sniffing, greeting her. Interestingly how she's scent marking the others. Dominant male cheek marking everyone, rubbing against them. And some Fleming, very rare to see. And the Jabulani's nose up. Firm and nasal cavity picking up on the scent of the rest of the animals. Climbing on top of them, asserting a dominance. She's been out all day long getting food. So she can get enough energy just to produce milk for these babies on return. So it's been a long wait for them and now finally they get to drink. So if we're lucky we might see some suckling behavior soon. Lots of dominance assertions going on, rubbing themselves against the others with their muzzles. And on the left hand side, one of the babies now gets a drink from Jabulani while the others keep guard. cold out here at the moment it must be about 17 18 degrees centigrade nippy breeze quite a bit of ice clouds around still with snow on the mountains an hour before sunset the groups returned earlier than usual and suddenly everyone's alert extreme alarm calling from the black Quran of course this is what we call a fire drill
lots of alarms going on from the adults. But there's nothing out here at all. It's associative learning right from the start, teaching these babies. When the Quran makes a call, be alert, we believe. Go below into the safety of the burrows. It's clearly the two animals still out here are showing absolutely no signs of any danger approaching whatsoever. So after a short time, after the fire drill has been completed, everyone starts to emerge again and the young might emerge again as well. But they'll be a lot more wary and next time they hear the black Quran they'll certainly be a lot more wary. Still a warning, the black Quran calling in the distance. Answering call from another Quran in the distance. Oops, very alert. system. It's incredible to be so close to these animals and have them accept our presence. Laura and myself and look right past us and yet give extreme panic calls to possible danger and accept our presence right here with the newly emerging young it's an amazing privilege no sign of the babies coming up again at this stage Also no sign of Jabulani. Babies are probably suckling right now. It's quite common for dominant females to return late in the afternoon just before sunset and go below the baby suckle on them for 20 minutes or so and then they come up again after the suckling has happened. Dominant male in the RT coming up to send marking the entrance to the burrow. There seems to be something moving in the distance on the ground, probably an antelope and dominant female Jabulani just emerging now. Immediately upon emerging, or everyone starts moving to groom the babies, huddle them against the cold, it seems, reassuring them. As well, it seems that there's no immediate threat. And that's the end of the fire drill.